Amalette is me. I'm a Jane. I'm so lazy. I'm actually lazy. I'm actually, I do admit that I'm a lazy person. But that's not going to change me, is it? So, okay, so I know my, my computer is like twisty, but that's actually <laughs> twisty. Oh my god. Actually, I actually found, after, I was searching for that, is it a lizard dragon or? Bearded dragon, I think that's what's called that type of animal. And his name is Twisty. If you've tried to find Twisty the bearded dragon of the beard yeah, the bearded dragon on Twitter, actually there's someone who has a pet with that name. So whew, sorry, why am I tired? Dude. Let me just move my phone out the way. I still remember how I was making these first reactions and I didn't have a camera, I didn't had you know, these fancy computers, well I don't have, I didn't have a fancy phone at the time and I know all I had was a Chromebook and what sucks was, <laughs> what sucked for me, I didn't have any knowledge of reactions, how they worked. Is it, oh, you just react, you just film yourself, and that's about it. But I was like, then I realized, oh shit, uh, I can't put down, you know, you actually thought you just filmed and they miraculously just magically just pop. No, I was so fucking wrong. But but then again, I, I used this camera, but this camera is actually really good because it gives me justice. And I was, I had a shitty tripod I threw that away because they were shit so I got this one from PC world it's actually professional because it has a handle the mo this motherfucker has a handle this motherfucking new <laughs> tripod that I bought a couple months back during um when I started uni this just I even bought myself a when I bought my camera it didn't have any bag it had nothing I had, oh my god, dude, that's so weird. Okay, so we're going to do today is Alexa. So Alexa did a comeback. So what I didn't know about Alexa, Alexa is actually a good friend of JRE. If you don't know who JRE, just just search on YouTube JRE KML. He's actually originally he's actually the OG of K-pop reactions. I love this guy. He's so funny. I love him. Oh my gosh. He's actually really funny. He first started doing these K-pop reactions with his um, cousin, KML. Uh, yes, they're half blacks. They're both half black. He's half Filipino with black. With Jamaican. Yes, black. Uh, his, sis, his cousin, his sister. His cousin is white with Jamaican. So, never underestimate someone that just because they look white that they can't, they'll never be black. They have a black heart. <laughs> they have blackness in their heart, but not blackness that they're dark, simply their, their way of talking, their expressions. And even Jerry, sometimes when he gets a bit upset, yes, his Jamaican side will pop out. And that's, and he doesn't look Jamaican, he looks Filipino, yes, he's got his Filipino side that dominates him. But he's still, you know, and now I still understand, now I still understand, never tell someone that he's white, oh, you can't act like this certain way. Because maybe they have their black side, <laughs> their Jamaican side, you never should ever tell someone, oh, you can't speak like that because you're not black. You shouldn't say that, guys. It's like me, when someone tell me, Oh, you shouldn't speak Spanish because you're not worthy. What? Well, but I'm 50% Colombian, so yeah, I'm gonna use those words. So, <clears throat> bitch, please sit down. So, with that being said, we're gonna do Alexa. Alexa did, is, is a, another comeback call. Oh, oh, I hate yawning. Fuck yawn. Okay. It's called AI Trooper. I really like her because her previous song, she started with a bomb. Oh, yeah, her, her debut song was actually bomb. It's called bomb. Now that I said it was bomb because it really was. 
and it was very powerful and you can tell she is one of those new upcoming new K-pop artists that will be I don't want to say that the next CL because I know someone's going to be complaining on the comments saying oh but CLs is it I'm just saying because we don't have so much if, we, if you think about it how many artists in K-pop that are solos apart from Ailey, Ayu, Chungha and Hyuna who are like who debut as solo solo because I, I know yeah, there's some me as well but then again they did they most of them didn't start out in a solo most of them started out in a group and I'm, I'm referring to the ones that started out as solo solo like Ailey and are you not a lot of them ah that's Boa I always forget Boa actually is a queen of K-pop the real one the real queen so so yeah so it's not not I've, I've just realized there's not a lot of artists in K-pop that actually mark a lot of territory in K-pop especially when they're solos if they're soloists it's not a lot of them so because there's always groups or duets that dominates. Actually do it so barely do as well. So yeah. So we're gonna do Alexa AI Trooper in three, two, one, go. It's two minutes. Huh. You can tell this is gonna be amazing. I love her hair. Yeah, I'm really new. This is a dance performance. I know some people were complaining about the, the alpha choices for do backup dancers, but sometimes, I don't know. I can't really say much about it. You know what, I appreciate most of these, all of these backup dancers, especially in the videos, in K-pop videos, because they work so freaking hard to get, to work all with the work their ass off for many of these artists. Suppose I, I mean, Paris Girl Bell was one of them with a dance crew. They're like highly respected. And I hope that there's a lot of them here that, I know they have like dance company and maybe there will meet some of them that are from one million dance studio if you don't if you're not subscribed to their channel where have you been I love her outfits and her hair this is very I really like her again I liked her from the beginning from the first time she popped onto the k-pop scene Oh, she goes from white to grey. That's great. I like this. I actually like this. I want her shoes, actually. <laughs> Dude, these dancers. Yeah, this is just that I knew it was, it was, it was a lot of singing, which I didn't mind because I knew it was going to be more like, it's going to be more of the of a dance choreography which I love I love seeing people dance especially in YouTube this is one of them I like it Just Alexa I knew <laughs> I mean we knew I knew Alexa was going to literally destroy the scene yeah people really love the choreo because yeah, I think what I like about her is that she's not trying to be cute, she's not trying to be sexy, she's not trying to be a girl crush, she's just being her. Being, you know what, I'm a performer, I'm just going to perform for you with who I am. <laughs> maybe that's how she does, maybe this is her niche, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but maybe, maybe. And I, I can tell she's going to dominate. And what I mean she's going to dominate this year, I can tell she's going to dominate each and every comeback 
she's going to make people fall in love with her regardless and I love it <laughs> I love it I love the choreo you know what I, I there was someone else uh, I think somebody said was I forgot which YouTube channel it was and they was explaining about BTS's backup dancers and how close they are and they said the same thing goes for Chung Ha that Chung Ha treats her backup dancers with respect no that she's not trying to look down on them no no she respect them because they work so hard BTS works BTS and Chung Ha respect their dance backup dancers on because they work so hard and they just see them as and you know even the backup dancers has said that they're you know the people who they work with especially with BTS and Chung Ha they have nothing bad to say because they are you know they're humble and yes that's one of the best things in the world to be being humble uh I presume that Alexa is a humble person because I, I can't really speak on her but you can tell that these backup dancers have worked very hard. I, I think, I have a feeling that most of these dancers must be from One Million Dance Studio. If you're not subscribed to the channel, where have you been? Have you been un living under the rock? What I mean, that company itself, that YouTube channel, that company, that dance company, One Million Dance Studio is literally one of the most most talked about, especially in the K-pop community, it's the most talked about when it comes to YouTube and K-pop. Because yes, it is run by Koreans in Korea, obviously, but I, it's good to see that there is not just only Koreans that go and dance there. You see white people, you see Latinos, you see black people, black melanins, Latino melanins. <laughs> Just like mine, a, a little bit more darker than me because I am not even close to dark. I'm actually a lot lighter than my mom and my dad and half of the family. Uh, my brother's the whitest one. <laughs> he looks like a white boy, so yeah, a oh, white man because he's old. Um, with that being said, um, it is good to see that type of dancers in especially in one million dance studio if you haven't checked them out go check them out check out all of their dance choreography because it is golden yeah some of them are repeated songs but they're like from different like choreographies and they yes they're all different because most of the the, co the dance teachers interpret it differently to one another so it's very interesting to watch so with that being said I give this woman a 10 out of 10. Are you serious? This is so good. I love it. So with that being said, I have nothing else to say. And you on everyone and seven kale.